The other day, I went to my local game store to you know, look at some games and movies and whatnot, and what I found was this guy right here. And I was like super excited because I hadn't, like I've, I've tried to fuck it this guy on like eBay and it just kept getting like outrageous price. I think I paid like 45 to 50 bucks for this guy. And the reason this is exciting is because this guy, like this game, it's out, of, it's out of print. You can't find this anywhere. It's not on any digital storefronts or anything like that. And so I was like, and especially with the Deadpool and Wolverine movie that just came out recently, I was really excited to just like get to play an experience like an other Deadpool thing that's like not the you know Deadpool movies and see what, what that's like. So, um, and this is actually, funny enough, this is the only physical copy of any kind of PlayStation game that I own. The only physical copy, because I buy all mine digitally now. Um, but yeah, so I was pretty, I was pretty hyped to get this guy. And uh, yeah, so I mean, right, so you know, I played it uh, in preparation for Deadpool and Wolverine. You know, I watched uh, the other two, I rewatched the two Deadpool movies uh, with a friend. Uh, we talked about that, it's on the channel. Um, I had, did a spoiler-free review of Deadpool and Wolverine, and now we're talking about the Deadpool video game from, I think back in, what was what was the year that this came out? Uh, 2015, oh, well, at least this, at least the PS4 version came out in 2015. I think the uh, PS3 version came out in 2013. Um, so this is an older game, over 10 years old. And so the really the question is, does it hold up? And should you look out for this game? Maybe more of a than just uh, just the collector's edition value of it. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, just chucked it. <laughs> Anyways, so let's let's go ahead and talk about it. So general thoughts about the game. It's a fine game. It's not really anything special. Um, I mean, for for 2013, it kind of sucks to be perfectly honest. Um, it's a lot of really, really old, like, and I'm not just talking like today old. I'm talking like it, I feel like this would feel dated in 2013. Like that's how old we're talking about here. Um, you're picking up tokens and you're picking up little like I items for the, uh, for reloading and whatnot. It's, it's like really more or less kind of archaic design for a lot of the a lot of the different things that you do um the combat i, I didn't i not i did not really like the way the the gunplay felt it really just yeah it, it just didn't feel good at all it didn't really feel like i wanted to use it what i did end up using a lot is melee that's what i used most of the time of um of actually playing it, it was melee and um, that was fun. Yeah, it was fun to do the melee and whatnot and everything. Um, basically, for like the story and whatnot, it's kind of almost nonsensical, I guess. Uh, it's kind of it was kind of whatever. It wasn't really all that interesting. It was a little bit of a revenge thing in it, but like it still like didn't quite make a lot of sense. And while you, like while you're doing it, like because also like part of the thing was. Deadpool was, um, like, it didn't really seem like a real story. And that's kind of what it, kind of what it felt like. Um, so kind of my comparison between the, like, like the, let's say the first Deadpool movie and the Deadpool video game, right? It, uh, like, you have, like, you have definitely have some instances of Deadpool referencing, like, the movie. Like, for instance, um, in the opening credits of Deadpool, the movie, uh, the opening credits of the movie, you have, like, um, like little jokes written in. So it's like, um, I, can't, I can't think of any off the top of my head. But, like, you know, like, like it'll be, like, insults um, that'll be directed at, you know, like, the writer and the director and starring, you know. And it'll, it'll be these little jabs. It's, and it's just a little bit of comedy mixed in there. And it's almost like, it almost kind of seems like, Deadpool was in there in the editing room and he was like typing these things out, right? Like that's kind of the feel of it. I mean, there's a couple of instances in the movies where um, like he like peels some gum off the off the lens of the camera or whatever, um, pushes away the camera. Um, almost said something about Deadpool and Wolverine. I'm not gonna say it because 
Uh, I'm, I'm not going to talk about Deadpool and Wolverine here at all. But, um, yeah, so, there, there's so there's a lot of that stuff. It's just kind of like kind of acknowledging it and just kind of like like making references to like, like the superhero landing, right? Um, the things that we talk about in the audience, you know, like what things that we would reference. And he's referencing those things, kind of acknowledging, you know, like how he like um, like he's he knows all of the stuff that we know. Um, but. In the Deadpool game, it the the game it does some of that stuff. Um, there, there's a point where um, where the camera and Deadpool is separated, and uh, Deadpool goes off and does something during a cutscene, and then he's like, he, you know, pops back and he asks the camera, he's like, "You coming?" You know, um, and there's there's some stuff like that in there, um, but a lot of it is just like referencing the script and like, oh, that's not in the script or scribble at the script or whatever. Scene one, dark and stormy night. Deadpool is contracted to kill media mogul Chance White, who is blah, 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 diddy, blah, blah. Don't need that. Edit that. Ah, crayons. Very classy. Why are we trying to kill What's-His-Face? Who cares? I'm making art here. Behold! Hmm, not sure the player understands our thinking yet. Hey, player, just go with it. We're about to change your fucking life. Bring the noise! And it's like... A lot of it, it just feels cheaper, you know? It just doesn't feel as well-written. You know, it's not as good as the Deadpool movies. And it's like, okay, yeah, you can't expect them to have the exact same, you know, whatever. But um, really, like, if you're looking for as good of Deadpool as, like, the Deadpool movies, you're not going to find it in the video game. However, it is kind of fun to, like, to play the game just just in reference to like um like having seen the movies right and just knowing who the character is and everything like that it is kind of fun to do that there are some like fourth wall breaking moments and whatnot but even the fourth wall breaking feels scripted which is like what eh, you know like his it's a, like fourth wall breaking is supposed to feel like you're breaking the script like you're 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 breaking the mold like okay here's here's what you're supposed to say and then fourth wall breaking is like okay this is what you're supposed to know and what you're supposed to say and now here's over here but then like he has like set dialogue just like everybody else and it's just as scripted as everybody else's dialogue except for his dialogue is more fourth wall breaking dialogue yeah it's it's it doesn't quite work out and like as a story and it's also super super short like it's like a uh, oh man i can't remember how long i spent on it but i think maybe like five hours i think like it's a really short game so like if like don't don't go into this like expecting like oh my gosh i love deadpool i'm gonna love this game that's probably not going to be the case here um if you if you want to spend the extra money, because this is it's an, it's expensive to get this guy, because it's you're not going to be able to find it like super cheap, because um, like on eBay, I think it, it'll go from anywhere between fifty to seventy bucks. It can go it can go really expensive. So if, if you're wanting the game, make sure you want it as like a collector's item that you kind of want to, that you'd like to play, you know, because you're a fan of Deadpool. Like that's the kind of that's the kind of angle you're going to want to go with this game because it's like it's not going to be. It's not going to be like, oh my gosh, it's the next, like, it's the, it's another entry into the Deadpool, whatever. whatever. Um, I think, and it's, like, it comes out a few, like, it came out after X-Men Origins, X-Men Origins Wolverine, and it came out before, so it came out after X-Men Origins Wolverine, and it came out before Deadpool, the movie. So, like, it's right in there, like, there's, like, Ryan Reynolds was already cast as Deadpool, but we haven't had, like, the definitive on-screen version of Deadpool quite yet. So you have, like, the, the vo- vocal influence from Ryan Reynolds in there, but you also don't have, like, a lot of the other stuff. And one thing I, I do want to point out, though, is that um, I know, like, in the comics, that, like, Deadpool has a couple of voices in his head. Now, the, this, doesn't, this, isn't, this isn't really true in the movies, but personally, well, it, it is, in, in the game, they do have like those two voices in his head that he talks to and whatnot. Here's the thing. Like, I know, I I get it. It's in the comics, right? That's, that's the comic accurate version. But to me, I like the movie better because it feels less like Deadpool's crazy. Like he, 
in the in the video game, and I guess it'll be in the comics. I haven't read any of the comics, but um, but I, but like with the voices, to me it just feels like the guy's insane. Like he's just loony. He's just insane. He's just crazy. And I like the. I like the movie version that it's like he's sane, right? He just has this, like he has a, a perception outside of their current reality. Um, and he makes jokes. And I, I guess people don't really understand the jokes, but they just don't even think about it. They don't pay enough attention or whatever. Um, and I, I kind of like how the movies do it, where his fourth, fourth wall breaking and jokes and all this stuff um, are just something that people like in universe don't pay too much attention to. Uh, we all get the jokes, and he doesn't look like a loony character who's just straight up, like bonkers in the head. Like you know, um, so I, I like I like the way they do it in the movies. I don't really like. Again, I get it's comic accurate, but like may, maybe it's just because I was introduced to Deadpool in the movie, and that that might be it. I don't know, but personally, that's kind of my stance on it. I don't really like it. It's not that great. Um, yeah, and other reasons, like there's not there's not too much else to talk about with the game. I, I don't like it's it's a very straightforward game. There's not really much there for there's not really much there for story wise um, because he has such disregard for the story. Like he just like I, I'm like. At some point, I was like, are we even going to... Like, is there even a story here? Um, there's, you know, some cameos from Cable and uh, some of the X-Men and whatnot. It's hard like to Sella. believe we used to date her. Why'd he dump her? She's hot! Not as hot as Psylocke, though. Were you even paying attention? Wolverine? Rogue? Hey! You're here, too? Try reading the script. Like the girl said, we gotta go to Genosha if we're gonna stop Mr. Sinister from- Wait, Genosha the island? Hey, we'll have to fly there! Are we taking the Blackbird? Oh, I always wanted to fly the Blackbird! No goddamn way. And, yeah, like, it's... It's not. It's nothing really crazy. It's a, it's a short game, there's not a whole lot to it. It's like, it's very linear, there's not really, there's no open world or anything like that to explore. It's just level by level by level by level, short levels, relatively short levels, and the whole game itself is only a couple hours long. And so you just kind of just blow through it and you're like, hmm, yeah, it was fine. You know, I, I don't really, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't an amazing, do I regret buying the game? I'm going to say no. And that's basically because it is a collector, a bit of a collector's item. Um, I, I own on a disc Deadpool, Deadpool 2 and the video game. And of course, when Deadpool and Wolverine come out, comes out, I'm gonna definitely get that on Blu-ray as well. So um, I have I have them all on disc, and I I really enjoy Deadpool, and it's 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 more of a novelty thing, you know. Like it doesn't exist, and like you can't buy it on digital storefronts or anything like that. So you you I and mean, it's been probably about seven years since they took it off market, uh, at, at, at least at this point. So I think they took it off in 2017, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's a fun novelty item. It's something that's cool that I can have in my collection. And that's pretty much it. You know, I've, I've played the game and it's like, eh, it's, the game is fine, but like, yeah. So, um, so if you're looking for it to be a fun, fantastic experience, I'm sorry to say, I probably wouldn't recommend going to pick this game up. Uh, just for that but if you want it as a collector's item and then play it you might have a little bit of fun with it so it's it's not a terrible game it's serviceable enough it's enjoyable enough but uh, yeah so uh, if you guys want to see any more videos like this um, I do I, I've been going through some different series and whatnot I do have an X-Men rank or uh, uh, an x-men uh, franchise review uh, i kind of i watched most of the x-men movies for the first time recently and i kind of rewatched a couple of the ones that i had watched um and uh i've got that coming out soon and a deadpool and wolverine um spoiler review as well coming in the pipeline as well so if you guys want to see any of those or any future videos um you guys can go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you guys enjoy the video i'd appreciate it if you liked it and i'll see you guys in the next one Ciao.